Hi everybody, it's Alexis. Today we're gonna do the top 98 square inch head size racket that I've reviewed in 2023 and the top three worst racket that I've tried in 2023. Let's go! Hey, I just want to say that throughout the whole month of December, I'm gonna post three long video and one short every week. So don't forget to subscribe and to like every of those video. Let's go in the video. So let's start with the best one. At the number three spot, we have two rackets that honestly I've tried to come up with just one racket but it was so tough. I'm gonna go with the Ezone 98 and with the Vcore 98. Those two rackets are so well put together and I'm a big fan of the Vcore but not as much of the Ezone. So the Ezone really surprised me when I tried it because I felt like you can really attack the ball, you have a bit of spin, obviously you have the power, but yeah, just really surprised by the racket overall and the V-Core was just consistent for me. I felt like you have a lot of control, you have a lot of spin, it's a bit more demanding to play with the V-Core 98 than it is to play with the E-Zone, but I feel like those two rackets are achieving incredibly, incredible uh, good uh, results. So that's the reason why I decided to go with the E-Zone and with the V-Core for the number 3 spot. At the number two spot, we have the first racket that I've reviewed on the channel and it's the Head Radical Pro. And I hold a lot of good memories from this review because first of all, it was the first one. Um, but you know, it's just a cool racket. I like the weight behind the ball that creates a lot of power. I like the spin factor. I like the control, um, just a good overall. And I just love the look also, but I feel also that with the anxiety technology, this racket is now better than it was with the Graphen 360 Plus uh, technology. And at the number one spot, we have the Vocal VCL 10 300 or the Vocal VCL 10 320 gram. Those are the same racket, just the weight that are changing. And I just enjoyed the consistency in the string bed. I enjoyed the spin, the power, the control of it. And um, it's like a radical mixed be with a, a bubble of pure drive with the comfort. Um, so yeah, just a good overall racket if you have no issue with your sweet spot, I highly recommend to go with this one. Now let's go with the top three worst racket uh, that are 98 square inch that I've reviewed this year. First of all, we have the Wilson Blade V8 16 by 19. It's not a bad racket, it's a racket that I've owned for a year. You know, the flexibility of this racket just doesn't make it for me. At the beginning, it was new, it was cool, but the more we get into it, the worse it gets, I would say. At the second spot, you have the Boom Pro. Same thing, it's not a bad racket, but I feel like it's one of the worst 98 square inch because it's not powerful, it's not control oriented, but at the same time, it's not, I don't know, it, it misses something to be um, the, the best racket possible. You know, I think, I, I hope that with the second generation that's gonna come out in 2024, it's gonna be a bit better. Let's go with the worst racket and we're gonna go with the Head Radical MP and Everything that I've said with the Pro doesn't transfer to the MP. You don't have a lot of power because of the weight, not a lot of stability. I feel like the auxetic technology is not doing a lot. So yeah, for all those reasons, the Head Radical MP is the worst 98 square inch racket that I've tried this year. Don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.